guys and gals, friends of YouTube. Um, Lead Fly Helis here. We're just going to do a little quick uh, review on the new Turnigy HD 1080p camera, which is a copy of a GoPro and or a copy of something else that copied GoPro. But anyway, uh, some of you guys have been anxious to see what I thought about this. Um, I like it uh, so far. It it's, seems to work real well. The menu is fairly easy to to maneuver through. Um, I did find one thing I, I recorded on oh, Friday I think I had it on a plane and I'm not going to load that video because what I did on the waterproof case I didn't realize on the front of that there was a little protective plastic sheet I hadn't pulled that off so it's it makes it look dirty and not real clear because it was shining you know filming through that plastic uh, but anyway, I've got that off now, and I've got a good video I'm going to put up here on this. I'll see what you think of the footage. Uh, works very well. Uh, one thing I did discover, though, on that flight um, is I went to review it, and it would play for a minute and then kick off. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird. I thought it just shut off in the middle of my flight. Well, then when I got home and actually got to scrolling through it, there was like four segments, three-minute segments. And what it was doing, it was kicking off at three minutes and then kicking back on and I went into the menu and uh, let me see if I can find it here there is a setting that get apparently comes factory let's see okay uh, cyclic record it'll be about the second one down you want to go to that and then open it and it was set on three minutes you can set it three five and ten minutes which I, I don't know why you'd want to do that but anyway turn that to off and then it will you know complete record the complete flight or whatever you're doing without any interruption so <clears throat> I learned that and then uh, let's see I'm trying to think what else there was the playbacks good on the, the little screen I like that the rotating it in other words if your camera's mounted upside down I got confused on that it, on the GoPro it, it you hit rotate and it actually you know flips it and shows a little emblem well this one uh, when you go into the man menu and go to rotate then you open that then it gives you option of on or off and I got confused on which was which I, I thought I looked through my viewfinder before I took off on this flight and it was looked right but I guess I was bent over looking upside down anyway the date on this video that I'm fixing to show you will be upside down in the top right hand corner instead of down at the bottom so uh, other than those couple little things I like all the features the menu is very easy to go through um, it uh, seems to have good color quality and everything you can go in and set the color balance the white balance everything there's all kinds of settings on this little dude um, it has a zoom you can set. You can manually set it to zoom so many times if you want to and uh, record like that. So, so far, uh, first couple times I've used it, I'm very happy with it. It's well worth the money. Uh, half the price, well, the new GoPros are even more. They're, you know, $350, $400. Uh, I have a GoPro Hero 3 Wide Edition. It's $200 if you you buy it this is 105 shipped to your door so uh, I would give it a big thumbs up guys it's uh, so far it's worth the money we'll see how it stands up in time you know but right now I'm very happy with it so anyway let me get this up and I'll show you uh, a little bit of flight video that I did yesterday on this and uh, let you guys take a look at it 